Hey everybody, welcome back to the winter edition of the Whiteboard Workshop. I'm in my very wintry sweater here because it's storming outside, but that's all right. No snow days for the Whiteboard Workshop. We are here with episode number 14, and episode number 14 is entitled Three Keys to a Super Demo. We've been talking a lot about demos here in the office. You can imagine we get a lot of them. I get CDs, I get drop boxes, I get sound clouds, I get thumb drives, I get all, demos in all sorts of ways. Someone once actually just sang their musical to me. I guess that counts as a demo. Uh, so we get a lot of them. So I've been th listening lately and thinking about the demos that I click repeat on. Like that's the goal, right? If I hear a song and I hear it over and over and over again, that's good. So what makes me click repeat besides just a good song? What are the demos that stick on my desk? What makes me want to reach out? So I, I thought I'd put together three keys to a super demo to guarantee that your demo gets listened to more uh, by producers like me and hopefully gets you some follow up as well. So number one, only send three to five songs. So you don't need to send your complete show and marketing your show through a demo. I don't need to see 17 tracks, okay? If you're getting coverage, if you're having that kind of dramaturgical analysis, sure, that's fine, and you need to do that. But if you're only trying to get me on the hook to try to get me to request more or get a meeting with you, only send three to five songs, right? Captain Andy from Showboat said, give him a sample, just a sample. So give me a sample, make me want more. Make me think about what the rest of the score sounds like. And also, let's just be objective and be honest with ourselves. Your show is emerging, right? It's developing, it's not on Broadway yet, it doesn't have a national tour, it doesn't have an international company in Singapore, for God's sakes. So it's probably not perfect. It's probably not exactly ready, right? Be objective with yourself and know that. So why would you send the complete score knowing that three or four songs may be replaced, may be edited, may change? Put your best foot forward, three to five songs only. And by the way, when choosing these three to five, don't go with just your gut. Ask other people, hey, what are the three to five best songs in my show? Use that kind of feedback and then put those songs forward. Send them to me. Okay, number two, use Broadway actors on your demo. So borrow the authority and credibility of Broadway actors on your demo. It may cost you a few more bucks, but it's worth it. If I hear a voice that I recognize, first of all, it's gonna be a good voice, right? You know you're gonna get high quality. Second, instantly, that person's credibility is, is translated and translated right into your show. There's a connection there. So use Broadway actors. Also, these Broadway actors, if they love the music and love the recording, they may push your demo out, out into the world. They may put it on social, put it on their website. That's happened to me before. Very uh, A-list Broadway actor said, can I use this demo on my own website? It helps market my show. Okay, so use Broadway actors. Uh, three, final, is use other instruments. Now, if you can only use a piano, that's fine, right? But remember that nowadays it's very easy to have full orchestrations electronically through computer, through technology. So I strongly recommend you do this. I get a lot of demos and it does make a difference when the songs are fully orchestrated, even if it's electronic. I do urge you all to try to go more for the higher end technology in terms of the orchestration, but try to fill it out as much as you can if possible. Remember, your demo is not the only demo I'm listening to, right? This is not demo in a vacuum. Your demo can't just stand out of being great on its own, it has to stand out amongst all the other demos I'm listening to. And using some full orchestration will definitely help you do that. Okay, I hope these three tips help you create a super demo uh, and get your show in front of the right ears of producers. Uh, if you need some help, we know a lot of people that do demos these days, so don't hesitate to drop us a note. We'll connect you with the right people and get you a super demo. Hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please share it and stay tuned for Whiteboard Workshop episode number 15 next week.